In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we are celebrating three martyrs. First one, Saint Nerus, and second one, Saint Achilles, and third one, is Saint Pancras. Three of them became martyrs and they stood and kept their faith even though they were persecuted, even though they were killed. These are the examples and examples for us to keep our faith stronger and stronger in our everyday life. Now let us acknowledge all our sins and ask our Lord for your sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, for our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your church rejoice, O God, confident in the intercession of martyrs. And by their glorious prayers, may he preserve in devotion to you and stand ever full through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every 
respect, you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly, knowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that the people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far away from any of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, even as some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that divinity is an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all the people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this matter some other time. And so Paul left them, but sent, sent some did join him and become believers. Among them were Diocinus, a member of the court of the Aragopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with him. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. He will not speak for his own, 
but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, today from the Gospel, our Lord tells us and teaches us that truth is a gift of God. And it is the creation of God. Then what we can do every day, every time in our life, try to discover the truth. An ongoing search to understand and discover more about the truth. That is called the revelation. And for that, we need to open our mind and heart, keep, keep it always to listen and to understand more truth which will be given to each one of us every day. It will not be given everything one day, but it will be revealed to us every day. Because we will not be able to grasp everything in a moment or within a day. It needs a lot of time. Take an example, you all know that with children, when we send them to the school or kindergarten, we will teach first the English or mother tongue. We teach them first the alphabet, how to write one or two or three or four. Once the baby learns that, then we will go a bit more higher. Because we know the baby is not able to grasp everything in one day. It needs a lot of time. In the same way, we need to practice ongoing search to understand the truth because truth is there. We need to discover it. For that, what our Lord tells us is that keep our mind and our heart always open to understand the truth. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the Easter joy of our universal church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the newly baptized, initiated into our Catholic church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the peace of our world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the unity of God's people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For a return of inactive Catholics to the sacraments, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For vocations to the priesthood, permanent diaconate, religious life, and lay ministry, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick and suffering, poor and powerless. 
Christ and in God we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For non Catholics who wish to learn more about our Catholic faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the embrace of the biblical stewardship, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the reverence and defense of all human life and protection of religious freedom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the eternal life of our beloved dead and the comfort of all who grieve, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all the coronavirus patients throughout the world. Touch and heal all of them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God, our creation, for your goodness. We have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth. Work for human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord By the mystery of this water and wine, we may come to share the divinity of Christ Lord Jesus to share with us the share of not mine. Blessed are you, Lord God, our creation for your goodness. We have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine. Work for human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Watch the Lord when they address me for my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and your words may be accepted for God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate, O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, how may us partakers of the one supreme Godhead grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us recite the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body. He brought with the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamp of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the pastor joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angel hosts sing to God the thundering hymn of your glory as they are crying. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fourth of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending our your spirit of the life that you for, so that they may be comfort us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and then very winding into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and each of me. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith we proclaim in the name of the Lord and profess your resurrection until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be the presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered not by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, for throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, David Hooks our Bishop, and the retired Bishop Curtis Guillory, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Idel, any whom you have called from this life universal, grant that he was united with your son, in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in our mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us, we pray that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all saints who have pleased the world ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is the word forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, order as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious and ignorant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from the sake of distress, as we have in present the hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are words, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who is the most and the peace I leave you, my peace I give you, no for all our sins. But on the faith of our church and the gracious and of peace and unity in the court of the will to live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, he take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold, in the Lamb of God, behold the him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, my sword shall be healed.
Let them pray. Made in you by this sacred mystery, we pray, O oh Lord, that imitating the one day's constant constancy of blessed martyrs, we may merit an eternal reward for suffering in the world. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to proclaim the good news through your life. Amen. Amen.